Hello, in this tutorial we are going to check how to get started with the FAT file system on the ASP32. As a target board I'm going to use a DF Robot Fire Beetle ASP32 board. So, uh, one thing I want to say first is that uh, at the time I've recorded this video, the support for the FAT file system had just recently landed in the Arduino core, so if you haven't done it yet, my recommendation is to pull the, last, the latest changes uh, from the GitHub page uh, of the Arduino uh, core. So one thing um, that we need to do before we get started, and again, this was uh, needed at the time I'm recording this video, and uh, um, the configuration files maybe uh, change in the future, but basically, um, in the SP32, uh, the flash uh, is the flash memory is segmented uh, in partitions. Um, there are partitions for different types of data, uh, and typically there's a partition um, for the file system. By default, and again at, at the time of writing, um, and I'm going to show you here the directory uh, where uh, the partitions are defined, and the partitions are defined in the .csv file. Uh, I will leave in the link the path to where uh, these partition uh, schemas are defined in the uh, Arduino core installation, but basically it's under hardware, as perceived, SP32 tools partitions. So basically, uh, this is the default one, so this is the one that is used when we don't specify anything else. And if you check here, basically, um, there's one partition uh, defined for the SPFFES file system. Uh, it's another kind of file system that we are not going to cover here. But basically, uh, there's no uh, partition defined uh, for the FAT file system. So what would happen uh, would be if we try to um, upload the code that we are going to see in more detail in a minute uh, that will try to mount the FAT file system, it would always fail because there's no partition defined for this. So, uh, what I did in order to make this work, the first time I've worked with the FAT file system and taking in consideration that this one will be, this default.csv file will be the one used um, if we don't specify any other partition schema was getting here, making a copy of the one that I already had here, just in case uh, I want to roll back the changes. And then, if we go here, again, uh, as I am here, so in this partition, the SPIVS uh, SPE FFS uh, uh, partition, just change the name to FFAT, and here in the subtype, just change it to FAT. Okay, and basically what I did was changing the previously existing um, SPFFS uh, partition uh, to now be a, a FAT file system partition. So I'm going to save this file and uh, we don't need to do any additional procedure on this one uh, because basically after we change this, the next time we upload code, it will lose this new um, partition schema. So, going back to the code, and in this introductory uh, video, this will be very simple, and we will basically just try to mount uh, the file system and check if, if we can mount it without having any, er having any errors. Uh, so, this will be very simple, but in the next tutorials, I will cover some more uh, functionalities. So, the first thing we need to do is including this uh, ffet.h library. Basically, it will be the library that will expose to us an external variable that we can use in order to mount the file system and then uh, open files from the file system. And um, basically, it's this uh, ffet uh, variable. Basically, as, as soon as we import the previously mentioned library, we are going to have access to this external variable and we'll use it uh, to interact with the file system. So, but the first thing we are going to do in the setup function is um, obviously opening a serial connection is what we do pretty much in every tutorial. So we can output some content to our um, to the serial port and later check that content with Arduino EDA serial monitor. Now, uh, and in order to be able to to interact with the file system, the first thing we need to do is mounting it. So uh, typically, when we are uh, doing some file system related uh, program, the first operation that we are going to always execute uh, is mounting that file system. And in order to mount the file system, we need to call this begin method uh, on our already mentioned 
uh, external variable and our f fat uh, external variable. Uh, when, when small detail that uh, the first time we use this file system is very important is that uh, the first time we want to use the file system we need to format it. And there are, uh, there's a method to explicitly mount the file system, uh, but typically uh, a very easy way to, to enforce this the first time we use the file system, or just as a precaution in case something fails, uh, is passing this optional parameter, uh, which is a Boolean value, to the begin method with the value true, and basically this Boolean value uh, will uh, specify the following behavior. In case the mounting procedure fails, then the file system will be uh, automatically formatted. So it, it's expected that the second time we run the program, then we should not have any problem. And although this is set to true, uh, if everything goes well with the mounting procedure, um, nothing uh, should happen in terms of formatting the content already there. So this is, uh, as I've said, an optional parameter uh, that defaults to false. So if we don't specify anything, if we just call the begin method without passing any parameters, this will have the value false by default, but in our case, to ensure everything is formatted, we'll set this value to true. In my case, I've already done some experiments with the FAT file system, so um, I've uh, already formatted the file system in the past, so when I run this code, it is supposed to to, um, uh, to don't return any, any error and to execute just fine, but in your case, if it's the first time you are using it, probably will get an error and you need to, to um, reset your SP32 uh, so the second time it runs everything should be okay. Uh, note that this uh, begin method uh, in order for us to do error checking returns a boolean variable indicating if um, the mounting procedure uh, went fine so if, if this value is true uh, then everything went fine if, if uh, it returns false then it means that the mounting procedure fails and this is why we have this if condition here, just to guarantee everything was fine. And in case some error occurred, uh, we print this information saying that uh, the mounting of the file system failed. And otherwise, uh, if the, the if condition doesn't verify, we just get a message saying the file system mounted uh, with success. So I'm going now to upload this code to my SP32. I've already pre-compiled it, so I hope this is fast. Uh, let me just uh, wait a minute because sometimes this, this takes a little bit longer. Um, but uh, as I've said, while we wait, uh, it's supposed to not throw any error uh, because I've already previously formatted. So let's just wait uh, a little bit because uh, this is compiling. While we wait a little bit, let me say that um, one thing that at the time of uh, writing, uh, sorry, of recording this video, that is missing is a, a plugin to upload files directly to the files to the FAT file system. Uh, so the support for this just recently arrived. For instance, if you use the the other type of file system, the SPFFES file system, there's a very nice Arduino IDE plugin that allows us to directly upload. Uh, files to the file system uh, without having to programmatically in, a, in an Arduino sketch creating them. But we'll cover that in other tutorials. So this uh, uh, has already compiled and uploaded. So I'm going to open the serial monitor. Uh, since it already printed the results, I need to reset my device. But as you can see here, the file system mounted uh, successfully. There was no problem. And uh, our, our partition uh, changing procedure uh, just uh, just uh, worked as expected. So this is a very simple uh, and introductory tutorial, more focus on the configurations of the partitions and on how to format the file system. In the next tutorial I'm going to explain you how we can write a file uh, in the FAT file system. Thank you very much for watching, hope you have enjoyed this uh, video tutorial.